Welcome to Religio Business Solutions weekly webinar series, where we tackle a new product, feature, and idea every week to help you manage your business. Today, we're discussing Monday.com's newest feature, WorkDocs. So let's dive in. Awesome. Thank you, Sonia. Yeah, so um, as Sonia mentioned, uh, what I'll be discussing today is the WorkDoc. So it, it is a new feature available on Monday.com. Um, so I will be showing you how to set up a WorkDoc, the different ways that you can actually set it up or store it into your account, um, as well as give you some other insight on how it can be used, um, how to use it specifically, so adding boards or other snippets of your work into these WorkDocs. Um, and then we'll really just address any questions that you might have if you do have questions about best practices with WorkDocs or anything about the functionality of the feature itself. Uh, please feel free to ask, like Sonia said, if anything does pop up into uh, the chat with any of your questions, I will address them as soon as I see them. Uh, but if not, and then we will address all your questions at the end of uh, the webinar today. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I will give you a brief introduction to WorkDocs. Um, so it really is a multimedia whiteboard where you can really record any of your work that you do on monday.com. So this is uh, the main use case behind this would really be reporting or really agile work that your team might be working on. I could really imagine that a lot of marketing institutes or agencies would be utilizing the whiteboard pretty substantially, uh, especially obviously with the remote work since COVID has hit. Um, you're really giving that in-office feel of having a whiteboard and being able to collaborate on your ideas just in one location. Uh, excuse me. And it is also in a grid format so you can easily uh, manage any of the work that you do have in the work doc itself and then you can also associate it to line items or just have it as its own document which would be stored in your left column with any of the other dashboards or boards that your team would have stored on your account um, so i will go ahead and share my screen with you all here um, and then i'll give you the basics of how to set up the work docs uh, there are multiple different ways, like I mentioned, uh, and then I'll show you some examples just based on the templates that are already available with WorkDocs and then show you how you can customize it to your workflow as well. So I will share my screen with you all. So the first thing, um, like I mentioned, there are multiple different ways that you can actually set up WorkDocs into your account. Um, the first way is actually just through a simple files column. Um, so just like you would store any other PDFs, Word docs, or Google Sheets, uh, you, you can actually add in a new work doc just through that files column by clicking the plus, uh, the plus symbol and then new doc. And what this does is it does associate it to a different or a line item on your board. So as you can see, this is the basic view of the work doc. So really a blank canvas at this point. Uh, but we will touch on how to add those different snippets and have your collaborative work in that workspace as well. The other way that you can create a work doc is through the same way that you would um, add any other board or dashboard to your account, which would just be clicking the add, or the add symbol at the top here and going down to new doc. Um, so it is still in beta. But again, it is a very thorough and innovative tool where I would definitely suggest if you are in some sort of creative agency or anything on those lines to definitely take a look at WorkDocs because it is um, a very great tool for collaboration and transparency across your company. Um, but just like the boards or dashboards, as long as you're on a pro or enterprise account, you are able to have it um, in diff three different types of work docs. So the one would be main where anyone on your account would be able to access and edit this information. The second would be private. So only members that you actually invite on to either view or edit those work docs would be able to actually access that or shareable. So if you are looking to report some information and share it with other vendors or freelancers outside your organization, you are able to actually have it as a shareable document, just like you would with any dashboard that you would have reporting any KPIs or other work that your team's working on. Uh, so for this example, we will keep it main. And as you can see, it just comes into the left column here with all the other boards. Uh, so we will be working out of a couple of these different boards here. So 
Um, just to show you quickly how you can actually add items into the board itself, um, you are able to um, just select any type of any type of information that you would want to have stored. So if you're actually using the WorkDocs to take notes, uh, which I do suggest because it is a very transparent tool, and I'll show you how after to actually turn those uh, notes into actionable items for your team. Uh, but you can start out by saying anything here. So say you want a title, uh, you can just simply copy or highlight that title right there, and you can change it into a title. You can change the wording of it. It is kind of structured similarly to Work Docs, if you're or, sorry, Google Docs, if you're familiar with it. Uh, where it is very flexible, where you can pull and drag really any items on this uh, document as well. Uh, but we'll have that as the title. You can customize it further at the top bar here with any other type of wording, or if you want bullet points, numbers list, really anything you are able to access just through this top here. But if you do want to go a step further, uh, you are able, like I mentioned, to add in any other field. Uh, so all you would actually have to do to add in these different fields is add a slash. And as you can see, this drop down menu popped up where you can add in any other board views or a full board actually from the main table, which would be displayed into the WorkDoc itself or widgets. So this would be dashboard widgets where you're either having graphs, schedules, really anything that you would have on a dashboard, you can also have into these WorkDocs as well. Um, as well as any pictures, dividers. So you can really um, get pretty fancy with these work docs here. And again, it is really an open canvas, so you can get as creative as you'd like with the work docs as well. Um, so I will go into one that does have some work in it already, or is a template that you can find in the template section. Uh, so if you are looking to not start on a blank canvas, you are able to go to the templates here. And then you can actually add in just through the docs. They have this new section that just came out as soon as the feature was released. And there are these six already um, available templates that you can work out of. So it does come with one board available and then the document that it actually has that information uh, to report or collaborate on. So with each of the work docs, you are able to, um, if it is shareable or a main board, you are able to actually share it with members internally and then you can also get a little more creative with the settings of the document itself. So if you only want members from your team, even on a main workspace, uh, to be able to only view the document, but if you're a, view or a board owner, you are able to actually edit that information. You can set those settings just in here. Um, and it's as easy as adding on, especially if it's a shareable board, um, it's as easy as just typing in either the, the person's name or their email address to be able to access um, these documents itself or the work doc, I should say. Um, so if we do want to add in Natasha here, we can do that. If, if we want to make her able to actually edit the board, it would just be clicking this crown right here and automatically she would be a board owner of this work doc. So she would be able to actually edit any of the information and she'd be able to view it and share it with other members, um, either inside or outside, or outside uh, your organization as well. So as you can see here, um, there are different formats. Like I mentioned, you can have bulleted points or really titles or any other notes that you might want to have stored on, on the work doc itself. Um, so you are able to, and this is one of the coolest features of work docs itself, is if you're taking notes from a meeting, you'd be able to actually turn those notes into actionable items. And how you would do that is, I will give you an example just with this board that it's connected to already. Um, so it is a brainstorming ideas voting. So if you have new ideas that are popping up in a meeting and you put a couple bullet points, um, so I will just add in a couple numbers here just to make sure that they're different. But what you can do is you can highlight these sections here and then you can just go over to create items. And from there, you can actually indicate which board that you would want those items to populate into. Um, so as I mentioned, it was the brainstorm ideas voting board. And right from there, you can select even the group. And since that board only had one group, it only allows for one selection. But once that is actually populated into the board, and I think there is a snippet below, that you can see that those mem or those new notes have actually been turned into actionable items on that board. Um, so you would have to actually indicate 
the other sections or fill out the other fields on the board itself, but they would create that new line item with the item name from the notes that you actually created. So it is a very quick feature to work. As you can see, uh, it was only a couple seconds for those, um, for those new items to actually populate into the board. And then even when you go into the board itself, all those items are all, all sorry, automatically populated into um, this other board as well, as long as you indicate which one. Um, so you can, again, get very creative with this. So if you do want snippets of your board, as I showed you below, um, you can do that just by adding in that slash and then indicating which board that you would actually want to show into this document. So I will show you a quick, quick example here. So I will just do a drop down and a slash. And let's say that we want a different board to be shown. Um, so even through a different project. So maybe we'll work out uh, um, the meetings list here. So we'll, we'll just search the meeting. Oh, we'll actually use action items, sorry. And as you can see, it has a workspace of where you're working out of um, to indicate where that board actually lives. But then as soon as you click that, just with a couple seconds later, uh, that board will automatically be displayed into the work doc itself. And you can make any of your edits right through the, these windows as well. Um, so you are able to scroll to the left if you have a larger board with more fields. Uh, you are able to scroll either to the right or left. You can write updates in any of these boards and also update any of the, the other fields that might be required for those items as well. Uh, so I do see that there is a, a question in uh, the chat here. So I will address that before I continue on. Uh, so the question is from Brianna. Can you move the doc from notes column to a workspace pane on the left and vice versa? Um, so Brianna, unfortunately right now you can't actually turn the document into a files column, but it would be stored just in the left panel. Uh, but vice versa, it is a little simpler of a, of a process right now where you can actually export these files. So from a work doc here. Um, and then store that just in into the left column. Um, so from files to the left column, uh, it can be done pretty easily, but vice versa, uh, there are still a couple, a couple issues with that altogether, unfortunately. But again, this feature is very new just in the last couple of weeks and it still is in beta. So I could imagine that that is something that uh, the monday.com developers will be looking into. Uh, but but hopefully that answers your question. If not, please write into the chat um, and I'm happy to address your questions and or further as well. Uh, but moving on from here, so I will show you some more of the capabilities with um, the work docs itself. So as you can see, there are videos that you can have on to the board itself. So I will just open this up. We don't need any sound, uh, but you are able to actually edit these videos right through um, your work doc as well. Uh, one of the great things as well, even if you have a PDF, so let me look into, we'll work out of this board here. So I do have a PDF saved and this is all meeting notes um, where you can have again, any dot jots, any numbered lists that your team might have. And also if you do have members from your team that are associated to these items, you are able to also at mention them on this and they would automatically receive a bell or a notification on their monday.com account to know that they have been mentioned on a work doc in another place on the account as well um, but moving on to the pdfs here so as i as i mentioned you are able to actually edit so if you do have uh, drafts for any creative projects that your team might be working on this is a great way to really collaborate on that and get insight from other members of your team uh, so you are able to actually add comments in. So let's say I wanted a comment, like I'll sit here. I'll just keep it nice and simple for our meeting. Uh, but you can actually add that comment in and then automatically it would be an update. And then you'll also see where that comment lays or lies, I should say. And then you can also refer to that if there are any updates that need to be made. And again, this is all just right through the work doc itself. You can also scratch it up and draw any other information that you might need as long as it is a collaborative uh, PDF with your team and the settings are set correctly where your team can actually collaborate depending on the permissions that your team has set. 
but all these updates will also be available in uh, the update section or the conversation section of those line items as well, uh, which are great just with the transparency of the, the work doc altogether. Uh, but moving on from that, you are able to also have the dashboard widgets like I, like I mentioned earlier. So if you do want any timelines, if you want calendars into your work doc, you are able to report that. So even if it's a quarterly meeting or a monthly meeting, you are able to actually have those schedules or plans into your work doc where you can actually have that as actionable items on your account as well. And again, it is as easy as just adding a, sl uh, a slash and then actually indicating what widget that you would want to be displayed um, into this board. So you can pick which boards that you're actually pulling that information from, just like you would with a dashboard. And then all that information would automatically populate into that calendar. So we'll pick a couple here. And as you can see, a couple items have been created or populated into this calendar. And again, you can turn all this into actionable items where you can either write updates or you can also um, edit any of the statuses or add any other information into any of the fields that you might need as well. Um, so there is another question in the, the chat here. So can it be, can it be imported or exported to Google Docs? Um, so that's a great question and you are able to actually save these as a PDF or export them. Um, so again, this is a new feature. So I'm still working myself and learning every day um, on this feature, but I can imagine that it would be possible where you can actually export these right to um, right to a PDF, which, oh, sorry. So it is through the print view itself. So you wouldn't actually be able to export it right to a Google Docs. Um, and it wouldn't unfortunately be actionable, but you would be able to save it as a PDF and again, since a lot of these widgets and these boards are actionable items, uh, you would lose some of the transparency with that. So I would recommend it more for PDFs that you would have saved. So even having a screenshot of a calendar or something on those, on, on those lines to be able to actually report easier. Uh, but just because of the flexibility of it and having all these different widgets as actionable items, it might be a little bit of an issue to actually export it out of the Google Doc itself. Uh, but again, you are able to share any information um, with people inside or outside your organization just by adding the share button, button and adding in the email addresses to the members that you would want to have um, access these work docs. Uh, but really, other than that, again, it is really a blank canvas with work docs, so you can touch on um, really any reporting or any collaboration that your team would need uh, with these features. Um, and it is very great where you can just update any information just in one space. So you can actually, it's really like a dashboard that you can take notes with and collaborate more with your team. Um, so I do definitely recommend it, especially if you're in the creative industry, um, to definitely take a look at the work docs and try to work it into your workflows. And just like I showed uh, with a couple of the examples, if you do have it stored on uh, the files column itself, it does really help instead of having updates all together, you can really collaborate more on actionable items with your team through the work docs itself. Um, but other than that, Sony and I will open up the floor. If you guys do have any, any other questions, please feel free to uh, send them our way and we're more than happy to address them. So there we are. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope it was helpful for you and your team. Eligio is your go-to agency for fostering digital transformation using world-class products. We do this by digitizing and automating your marketing, project management, sales, and service systems. We are CRM architects, technology engineers, and your business advisors. If you have any questions about this video or anything else, please reach out to us at eligio.com.